All right, we're going to try a video recording today for students that are absent. Uh, we have a couple kids gone for first robotic stuff and things like that. So I'm going to try it. Uh, I, I, I piloted this yesterday during Academy, and I was checking to see if audio worked. It does work, but you guys, like, like when you know, Ethan asks a question today, you got to be nice and loud, right? So when you're doing clear, project, you're on stage and you're projecting your books, right? This way people can hear uh, what you're asking. Um, so we're trying this today. We'll see how it goes. Uh, today's going to be basically a work day for you, so just relax. We're not going to learn anything like majorly new, uh, but we are going to uh, uh, look at your series and par your parallel homework stuff. So I'm going to ask you to give me an honest grade out of five. Okay? Just give me an honest integrity grade on that. Uh, I want to see if you have any questions regarding your series and parallel circuits at this point. And then uh, there's going to be some Q and P's of so questions and problems from the textbook. Now, all you guys have done so far is just analyze circuits, right? There are questions and problems that I want you to be able to do that are textbook driven, and so I'll give you a sheet for that. And then I'm going to give you guys a know your potential activity, which is the precursor to analyzing complex circuits. Complex circuits are combinations of both series and parallel. So before we get into that, we need to do a little bit of uh, finish up on series and parallel. Okay, you guys ready? Just so we can see this. Um, Ethan? Could you ask a question about uh, about like, or could you answer for me this question? What are you doing this weekend? This can be fun. I have a soccer game. Awesome. All right, so let's give two claps there for Ethan. Thank you, Ethan. Just checking to make sure the audio works. I hope you guys could hear that. All right. Um. So here, let's take a look at that homework. Now, what I don't know is whether or not when I do this whether or not the video recording will show this. I don't I don't know. I'm hoping it does. So hopefully it'll show this is this is the answer to number one for your homework. Let's take a moment. I'm gonna ask that you just give me an honest grade based on effort you tried these things. If you got something wrong you can certainly fix it. But uh, give me an honest grade. Okay now I don't know how long I, you guys didn't have much class time yesterday. How long about the the, the stage? You got it all the way done. How long does it take? About fifteen minutes? Yeah I mean it's again it's Yes, it's homework. You have to do some things outside of class, but hopefully it's not too long. It is important that we do this on a daily basis, though, because everything that we learn from this point forward depends on previous stuff. So we can't just, like, kick the can down the road. We have to have this stuff down. All right. So those are your uh, current ratings. Uh, one of the times, uh, one, time, uh, one thing kids will struggle with is the milliamp versus the amps, right? So just make sure that if you have kilo ohms, um, if you just keep it as kilo ohms, then your answer would be in milliamps, right? So just keep that in mind as we go through it. All right, uh, what else? I give you number three. Okay, I'm hoping that this also is providing a video for the people that were gone. Quick question for you. What do those little bars over the numbers mean? May I just repeat it? Okay, you can use sig figs if you want on that. But those should be pretty close for your answers. Good. Number, what's the next one, five? Is that the next one on the list for you guys? Okay. So. <clears throat> Perhaps the hardest part of parallel circuit stuff is doing a 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, da, da, da. Perhaps the hardest part. So far, so good? Okay, next next one would have been whatever that number is. That looks like it's number 6. 213 ohms, 0 0.11, 23.4 don't be afraid of asking questions if you're not sure how I did something. Okay. And one more. Was that it? I'll give you guys five. Let's take a look. Ooh, this one's probably the definitely the, the, the most challenging, maybe. They're all the same. Now, when they're all the same, I should tell you that they're all going to be three times as great as the equipment resistance, right? So that... When you put multiple things in parallel and they're the same, it effectively just cuts them into halves or thirds or fourths, depending on the number of resistors that you have. Okay? And then when you go through and do the rest, you can, you can get that. 
I am not going to have you turn that in because I am behind on some of the things that uh, I've been trying to get back to you. I'm going to let you, do, as I'm, as you guys are working today, I'm going to walk around just see how you did with that, record your grade for that so I can get those things up to date. Okay? Questions for me? All right. So here's what I'm going to, here's what I want to do today is before we move into, <clears throat> uh, into understanding complex circuits, which is our next major topic, um, I want to uh, I want to take a moment and just just try this question here. Right? So this is a question. This is in your packet, but it's mostly a discussion here. Um, so this is a concept-based question that comes from your textbook, and it's uh, these light bulbs are configured. They are identical light bulbs. So each of those light bulbs the same as those. Which configuration would you say produces more light? The series configuration or the parallel configuration? I'm going to ask you to turn and talk to the person that you're sitting next to, and then I'm going to ask for someone to just tell us what are you, what are you, what are you talking about there. So try it, turn really quick, talk with that person that you're sitting next to. Which one produces more light? And I heard some good conversations. I could hear. I don't think this picked it up. Because it's too quiet for you guys to be able to get recorded on the mic. But I bet you, if you speak nice and loudly now, when I when I ask for a volunteer, you're going to be recorded. You're going to get it right. If not, I'll just delete. I'll rewind. So don't worry. Which one produces more light? Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, this is. I won't even say the name. You'll see. You can you can figure out who it is. All right, go. Uh, Okay, so you mentioned two things. The current is greater, and the potential difference is greater? Across each, each bulb, yeah. So there's, okay, thank you. I'm going to try this. I'm going to write, uh, hopefully this will work. Come on. Oh. It's not going to allow me to write on this, and then here goes the entire the entire video recording. So I'm going to have to write with a pen. Uh, there, are, there, are, there are three things, right, with voltage, current, and resistance. Oops. So I'm having to write this. There are three things, right? Delta V, I, and R. And then, of course, there's power. Now, power, you guys might remember, is I squared times R. We did some power stuff, right? We did this. I times V. Now I could say I times delta V. And there was one more. Do you remember the third equation for power? Thank you. Yep. So there's three things that are that are ways for us to calculate power. Now, when I talk about which one produces more light, what am I really talking about here? What kind of quantity? Is it the voltage? Is it the current? Is it the resistance? Or is it the power? It's power, right? So when I, when I ask him questions about this, I'm, I'm really asking which one, which one is producing more light, and that would be evidence of the power. And so it's really these things here. So I would agree it's parallel. The question is, is how much how much, how much more power would you say that light bulb is getting than that one? If I were to compare their powers, give me a factor, right? How many, how many times great? How much more power is being delivered to that light bulb than this light bulb? Take a moment, talk that over with the person that you sit next to. Because you are correct, it's parallel. It's going to be the, going to be the brighter one. My question is, how much more power? Twice as much, four times as much, three times as much. Current power. They're talking right now. Hopefully you guys can hear that. <clears throat> I would encourage you at home, if you're listening to this listening to this recording, to answer that question yourself. How much more power is that parallel light bulb getting than the other one? I know. I love it. There's smiles. I don't, they can't say I don't have the I don't have this. If I if I had this on there, I could point this out. We could show you. Guys. They're sleeping right now. They're on an airplane, thirty thousand feet, but they're sleeping. I hope the pilot's not. <laughs> How about this one? It's tricky. Trickier question. How much more power? So you mentioned both current and voltage is different. And you are you're correct. 
You want to try it? What are you thinking, Aiden? Um, well, I'm noticing the square. Okay. Uh, two of the equations. So yep. Makes me think back to the four. Okay. Let's see if we can analyze that. Okay? Let's see if we can analyze it. We know that if this is a 12 volt battery, you can't write on. If it's a 12 volt battery, would you guys agree that each of these light bulbs up here gets six? Would you agree that each of these up here get 12 as far as delta V? Okay, good. So they, they, this, the voltage is shared. The voltage is the same as a battery, as a supply. Okay. How about current? How much more current does this one have compared to that? We don't know what the value of R is. So we can't actually calculate the current, but we can do this as, as proportion. Would you say that there's more current in this line than in that one? Yes or no? More current? Why? What, what equation? Are, oh, I didn't write those things up. What equation would you say that there's more current? Wh which one? Which one are you using here? And I didn't. I didn't write these things up here. I might as well do it. V is equal to uh, delta V is equal to I times R. I is equal to delta V over R. And R is equal to delta V over I. So which one would you say? Uh, how does the current compare? Let's try that. Current in this in this one, and they can't see me pointing on this thing here, but in the 12, 12 volt top top valve versus here. How much more current? So let's see, it's got twice the voltage, correct? The resistance is the same. Okay. So would you guys agree that it would have twice the current? Yeah, so it has twice the voltage and twice the current. Now, you notice what I'm doing here is I'm, I don't have to go to the squares. I could just look at that, right? If that's twice as great and that's twice as great, I get four times as much, right? I could also look at that and say twice that current squared. Multiplied by that resistance gives you a four times one. So not only would they be brighter, they would be a lot brighter than those. See how that's working? Okay, that's the idea of behind parallels versus series arrangement. Which way, is, which way is your car headlights wired? How do you know? One goes out, both of them don't go out, right? That's that's a key idea. All right, guys, that's going to complete the video segment for this uh, recording. I hope it works uh, for this. Uh, what I'm going to give you guys here is I'm going to give you some questions and problems from your book about series and parallel. And then I, I have an interactive for you. It's called Know Your Potential. And I'm going to have you guys first work on the questions and problems. And then when you get that done, there's a Know Your Potential activity on the classroom page that you should be able to get through, okay? That's my, that's my, that's my uh, lesson for today, and we are done. I hope you guys enjoy the video.